Hi everyone, we're going to make some spritz cookies for Easter. I always make these for Christmas and other holidays. They're a really nice butter cookie and you can make a lot of enhancements to them. Coating the bottoms of the chocolate, putting jelly in the middle, you know, coating them with sprinkles, all kinds of things like that. So what we're going to start with is one and a half cups of butter that I have softened on the counter and a cup of sugar. And we're going to cream that together in my mixer and then we're going to add vanilla and almond extract. We're going to add baking powder and two uh, tablespoons of milk and then three and a half cups of flour. So let's get this going. Sorry that you weren't watching the mixer. Anyway, I'm creaming together the butter and your sugar, and now I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of pure almond extract. That gives them a really nice flavor. And one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And then one teaspoon of baking powder. One egg. Two tablespoons of milk. Okay, and I'm going to clean it up. Then I'll scrape down the sides. Okay, and start adding the flour in. Now if you wanted to tint the dough pink or yellow or green or whatever, you would divide it up and then add your food coloring, but I'm going to decorate them in other ways and I like, you know, a more natural cookie. So depending on, you see this is pretty soft, probably going to add just a tad more flour. Just because I know the consistency. So I'm just gonna add that in. And now if for some reason when I put it in the cookie press, it didn't, you know, work well, then I would immediately add, you know, bring it back and add more flour. Okay, and I'll Put this down. So it's a soft dough, so it's like that, okay? I want to get the cookie gun. I'm going to use the OXO cookie gun, okay? For this one. I know I showed you another one the other day, but I'm going to use the OXO for this one. Okay, so when you load the cookie gun, cookie press, whatever, call it a gun. We're going to fill it here with the dough, right? This is a ratcheting 
we have, uh, you know, the, it's, a, it's a ratcheting unit. So we have it pulled all the way back. And then we do that by pushing this button. So I'm gonna put the cookie dough into the barrel of the cookie press or gun. It's more fun to call it a gun. You want to fill it all the way. So you actually press it down. This is a flexible spatula, so that'll get in there, and then I'm just going to fill it in now. You don't want air pockets. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to clean that off, I'll show you. And you can see which different shapes you get. And this one has stainless steel discs. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to top this off a little bit right there. is pick a disc and let's start with this one okay so usually with this one it really doesn't make a difference what side it's on you put it on there and then you screw well wait a second where's my camera okay so, and then you screw on the top like that, clean that off, okay? And then we're going to be able to press our cookies. So let me get a cookie sheet. It works right on a sheet like this best, okay? So, okay, that's what I'm going to do. And this kind, you just put it down, and usually for the first time, you have to prime the pump, so to say so to speak. And then you can see whether they take two or one presses. They'll give you different thickness cookies, but you'll see how quickly. And these are perfect for Easter because, you know, like I said, you can do lots of things with them. So let's they don't spread very much so you can actually put them pretty close together some of the ways you can decorate them is to put these pastel for Easter you know nice and sanding sugars but You have the oven to three, uh, uploading, uploading. <laughs> Boy, I'm on YouTube a lot, uploading. Uh, and then these, I like to dip the bottoms. These were like almost like a pearlized, really nice pastel, uh, not pearl. And I like to dip the bottoms into milk chocolate. You can use white chocolate. Like I said, you can uh, make jelly sandwich cookies with some of the shapes, like the bar cookies. But, um, yeah, the oven preheating to 350 degrees, and you bake them for about, you know, if you wanted to put some sugar crystals and pastels, these are blue, I have purple and stuff. You can do a lot with them, so. And anyway. Use green. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven. 
and then we'll take a look at how they come out. Okay, we'll try a swirly shape like that on this, and I'm going to do it on the parchment on this one. Just baked cookies on here, so we'll see how this one goes. It's actually another flower shape. See, and if I make it with just one press, you see it's a smaller cookie, right? Two presses. We have a little bit of a fatter cookie, so if you're trying to do it with jelly or something, we can have little dainty cookies. But let's see. There's like a little fan shape, which you don't usually get. And these are really nice for you're filling them with jelly and stuff. Yeah, that's if you left it really little. These are two tiny ones, but okay. I'm just going to show you the, the bare shape here in one second. We have a lot of different designs. We can have butterflies, and here's the teddy bear. So I'm going to show you the butterfly. for spring and Easter. If you can see him, so they make little bears. Um, and I just want to show you the other one. right so I really don't have a lot of room on here so I'm going to just finish but I'll put these in and I'll show you when they're done and then I'll show you them decorated too so here these are and you know they are they have to cool and then I put chocolate on the back of them so you can put them a little darker if you like them but they are golden brown. Maybe they're not showing them around the edges and that's how I take them out. So I got tired last night. I didn't do the chocolate on the cookies. I normally use an almond bark. Um, they didn't have it at the store. So I got milk chocolate. I'm going to melt these. So you just melt them. I'm, I'm going to use the microwave. You can use any method you want. That should be enough for now. I'm just going to put those in. I'll just take some of my cookies out. And I'm going to put chocolate on the back and I'll turn them over this way. I'm 
I baked these for a little longer. Well, Jimmy was in charge. <laughs> They're all good. They're so good with coffee or tea or cocoa. Very buttery. And the chocolate makes them really nice. Okay. So we have a nice, um, I just, I don't know how I'm moving around this camera, a nice, smooth chocolate. And what we'll do is, one of the easiest ways to do this now is just to get a little bit kind of spread it on. Sometimes I dip them, I have a, but right now I'm just going to try spread it on like that and then it'll harden and dry fairly quickly. That's all there is to it. And then it adds like an extra special treat to it. Or you can, you know, I'll show you another method. <coughs> I'll show you another method. You could brush it on if you want with a Basting brush if you want. Paint it on, kind of. It's messy, and you want to have something to wipe your fingers off because otherwise. I put a lot of chocolate on the back of them because the chocolate and the butter goes really good. Okay, I'm going to let those dry. Happy Easter to you guys. I'll show you. The first one I did is almost dry. I've got major chocolate hands that I need to go wash, but Okay, and then they'll dry and it'll harden and you know you can put them in a container and everything when it's hardened it'll harden nice. I'm going to finish the rest of these. Happy Easter everyone and I hope you try these out. They're great.